Wow. Top of the morning, friends and family. Welcome to part two of this video. If you didn't watch part one, you should go back and watch it now. But if you are watching part two, you're going to get in on something that we didn't give to part one viewers right off the bat, which is we are allowing you to comment. This is Matt, by the way. If you watch part one, you already know that. Part two and part one are going to have the same title with the exception of part one and part two. And I'm trying to think of some cool name for it. Matt came up with what did you come up with? Um, Super Show Extravaganza. Super Show Extravaganza. That was. Th I was thinking like what you're going to see at the Las Vegas Reptile Super Show or what we're bringing to the Las Vegas Reptile Super Show. That's what I was thinking. But we want oh. <laughs> a comment from you below and we're going to take the best one and we're going to title the video that. I've got five snakes. All of them are coming. Some of them are for sale. Ooh, can I take a guess of which ones are for sale and which ones aren't? No. This one is coming. If there's space, if there's space, this snake will come. This is a Coral Glow Champagne 100% oh, hit pie. Hold on there, what? Tiger. I'm the one asking the questions around here. Okay, well, I'm giving Brian, the answers. What kind of snake is this? This is a ball python, Python regius, also known as royal python in many other parts of the world. Coral Glow Champagne 100% hit pie male, who I'm keeping, but I'm going to bring just to show him, because uh, this is my projects where I'm working in some nice creamy, oranges and the end game uh -huh. on this project is going to be super coral glow champagne pied so this is a coral glow champagne het pied we're going super coral glow champagne so to make a pied. super coral glow do you need two coral glows to make a super coral basically glow? i'm gonna breed this guy to a coral glow uh -huh. pied or coral glow het pied female okay and then we can get super coral glow champagne interesting hides so is Coral Glow more like, is it like an allelic gene or like the... There's nothing that has been found that is allelic as far as a gene with okay. Coral Glow. Um, it is the one sex linked trait that we know of in ball pythons. And there's a couple videos I made on the subject that are linked right here if you want to check out a little bit more about Coral Glow and Banana. If you're confused about how it works, you can watch me be partially confused as well, but figure out in my own brain with visual cues and all that it's it's mm. pretty decent a lot of people like it but i'm planning to keep this guy because he's just a phenomenal example and he's just got some killer head boobs on him and that's just that's something that just there's so many little things i look at a snake before i decide it's going to be whole back. i like the eyes the eyes seem like they're uh completely almost like black dog. black with a red, the... red pupil red pupil okay yeah. interesting oh and there's a little bit of purple in there actually there's some purpling coming up from the coral glow in there just little little ever little hints of purple Let's move on to the next snake. I'm not going in any particular order here. This is Cinnamon Enchi Sunset Female. And I had her at the Pomona Reptile Super Show. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a little bit steeply priced maybe for some folks, but not, I wouldn't say steeply priced, accurately priced, but it might be a little high. But I heard somebody say something once, uh, Chase Baker, good buddy Chase Baker. He's mm -hmm. in the Sunset Project. And he said, you know, if it doesn't sell, put a mask in, I'm just gonna keep it. And I'm gonna breed it. That's what I do. And that's what I'm doing. Probably yeah. about 75 bucks. Is that a little steep? You're just missing a few zeros, that's all. Just mm, like a brown, orangey snake. I got brown snakes down there. Now I have zeros. All right, well, we decided Matt wasn't going to be good for business at the show, so we're going to be taking over by ourselves from here on out. This here is a spot nose red stripe pinstripe clown. And she was at the last show, too. And the same, same as with that sunset. If this snake doesn't sell, then this will be the last show I bring either of them to, and they'll just stay here, and I won't have any problem with that whatsoever. You know, it's the last chance, last chance. She's a beautiful snake and powerhouse. You guys miss Matt? Me too. All right, Matt, come on back. Question? If I sell that snake, can I come back and stay at your booth the entire show? Absolutely. That one right here? Yeah, this one right here. Oh, 150 bucks. So, Brian, tell me about this snake. What, what made this snake? Like, uh, what genes are involved here? I already did say that. We'll go to the next one. Oh, definitely a $60 snake. All right, you're fired. <laughs> what? I know my ball pythons. Uh huh. So, what, well, let what, me take what genes are in this ball python? Okay. Looks like we Just got name a... one Mojave. Afraid not? Cypress. Afraid not? Buttercream. Afraid not? You were close, though, with Mojave, because it is lesser, and it is cinnamon and red stripe. But Where's the, wh so, explain to me about this red stripe, because I am new to what... I'm, well, I'm trying to learn about ball pythons, and they always say red stripe. I don't see red. Show me red. 
Stop trying to bring logic into the ball python <laughs> breeding world, Matt. Oh, That's not what we do here. Why did you get into ball pythons? Why ball pythons? Well, honestly, I always wanted a ball python when I was a kid. Okay. Like, and I had colubrids. I had like rat snake and king snake. Mm -hmm. And my buddy had a ball python. Like I mentioned with that other snake with the head boobs. Mm -hmm. Like you know, corn snakes and rat snakes and, and those colubrids. They don't really have much head definition between the neck and the head. It's just kind of like the neck becomes the head. Exactly. Yeah. And that Sausage. was some. Yeah. So that was something that was stuck out. And then how soft they are too. Like I would hold it and I'd be like, wow, it's so soft compared okay. to my snakes. And my snakes had keeled scales and stuff. Yeah. And, and I was like, wow, it's like soft. It's got this really cool looking head. Mm -hmm. And so it was like kind of a, you know, the scales are brighter on the other side of the, the enclosure glass. Okay. I like that, that was the real reason. That was the real, and then when I so when I moved back from Hawaii, I was like, I want to get a ball python. I always wanted to get a ball python. Never had one. Gonna get one. And that's kind of how it started. Everyone always comes over to your, your booth. I, I've vended it. I've, I I know everyone comes over to this booth all to see the sunset that you brought. Okay. What got you into the sunset gene? Was it the potential that it can have for other genes? Like, did you see something? I just, just I just saw the picture of the original one. That the first one that was brought in by mm -hmm. Brian. And I just saw a picture of it, and I was like, ooh, that, that, that. that. I want, I want it was that. like love at first sight. Love at first sight. Okay. And then that was way before I saw the price tag. Okay. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> How am I possibly going to, uh -huh. like, I can't get into this. I can't afford it at all. There's no way I can get a sunset. And then, you know, Hetz, you know, so then Hetz was the mm -hmm. option. So, because usually if I like, see something, I really like it, and, like, even if it's out of my price range, well, then if it's truly out of my price range, that means I don't have enough money to get it, period. Yeah. That's truly out of the price range. I don't operate like, oh, that's out of my price range. Like, I either have the money that I can get this or I don't. Right. If I have that money, I'm, I'm going to get it, it if I really want it. Even okay. if I have z literally zero dollars left over afterwards, which is how much I had basically for the heads. So I got the heads. If I had enough of the visual that would leave me completely broke, I would have got the visual. I didn't. I literally, it's not that it was out of my price range. Mm -hmm. It was that. I literally didn't have anywhere close to that much amount of money, period. I gave you a little bit about how I got into it, but mm -hmm. also like the, the drama that unfolded after I realized that I needed to have it. No, well, you're still alive. Yeah, so I am. <laughs> Paul Pythons, so. they work. This one was the most reasonably priced of all the snakes on the table, I think. And so it's really surprising. I don't know if just all the other snakes there overshadowed it. As I look at it more and, it's, and he's starting to grow a little bit, I feel like it would work really well in, really well in an axanthic project, even though he's heck clown. Mm -hmm. But... um. Anyway, he's quite reasonably priced, and so I'm not going to lower the price. I'm just going to bring him to the table for the same price I've had him. And if he doesn't sell, then I will plug him back into my own projects because he, he's a good-looking snake. and He's a great-looking snake. He's ready to breed next season. I would almost say he's got some xanthic in him right now. But but he doesn't. Brian, show us your last snake. My last snake, I'm cheating, is a two-parter. Just because I kind of wanted to show the difference side-by-side side of Coral Glow Why'd you bleach and it? Super Coral Glow. Um, adding the extra layer of Coral Glow on there. So, it's, so this one's a homozygous coral glow this one's heterozygous coral glow for you science nerds out there and this was the clutch that i first tried uh letting the eggs stay with mom so these oh, snakes okay. hatched out with mom and hung out with mom until they took their first meal and they actually came out really robust it's pretty cool i'm planning to do that with every snake that seems like it'll do well with it meaning uh -huh. that they like do a good job wrapping the eggs and they're not like throwing them all over the enclosure like some snakes do yeah and uh and also if mom eats while on the eggs so, so that'll be the first time trial but if mom is willing to eat on the eggs then i'll keep doing it with the snake okay going forward but like like she did this mom to these snakes ate on eggs and ate while they the babies were hanging out with her so i'll continue to let her keep the eggs every season and going forward i'm gonna uh, let any snake that does a good job wrapping their eggs keep them and then see if mom um eats on eggs and if that's the case then i'm just going to allow mom to keep the eggs and incubate them herself or, you know, care for them herself while mm -hmm. they're getting ready to hatch. And But these are both Coral Glow, 100% Het Pied, Super Coral Glow, regular Coral Glow. And I just wanted to show this. It almost looks like side. it got bleached out there a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Super Coral Glow. So the cool thing about Super Coral Glow, obviously, for those that know that are genetics of any kind, homozygous, means that this animal is going to pass on Coral Glow to every single animal that it produces. Got it. So mm -hmm. every single baby will be... That Coral color. Glow. Yes. I'm in shock and awe of all these snakes, Brian. And are these two going to be at the table? These two will be at the table. Absolutely. All 100%. right. 100%. I will help one of you lucky people out there watching to one of these snakes. And if anyone knows about my prices, they're good. 
<laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> we'll see you guys at the Las Vegas Reptile Super Show, September 10th and 11th. Yeah, it's my the first one. It's the first one. <laughs> At Matt's booth. <laughs> we'll see you there. <laughs> you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you this Wednesday for Cusco One Cut. And it'll probably be at some fancy party or something like that. Am I, I invited? Yeah, you are, actually. I got you invited. Really? I did. Squirrel's head between thigh? What yeah. Is, what you, no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's a video I'll show to you later. Ooh, sorry, Snake. <laughs> I was just trying to blow the dust off. Am I boring you, Matthew? Very much so. Get your hands out of my hand space. This is my zone now. You had your episode part one. This is my episode part two.